What's up guys, it's Miles, and we are in Rosedale today checking out this semi-detached home listed for five and a half million, and check out this backyard. What makes this home unique is it has an actual, it's a 22 foot lot on the front, but it has, as you can see, these are the neighbors, backyards. This is all part of the same lot. So it's about 120 feet width at the back, all these huge trees as well. The home itself, so obviously this is just in the backyard. The home itself uh, was built in 1888 and it was just renovated in the last couple of years. I was listed for 5.5. It's got five bathrooms, six, sorry, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and it's a two and a half story. So let's take a look. All right, so we're just entering the front door. We've got these herringbone floors, white oak floors, which are awesome. It's overlooking the front with a little gas fireplace. This is our living room on the main floor. Coat closets. So on the left side, we have the powder room on the main floor with, with a marble sink. Entering into the kitchen, We've got this waterfall island with Italian marble. They've done some pretty crazy marble finishes on this, all the way up the backsplash and on the windowsill as well. This huge basin sink. The appliances are all Gen Air. It's our fridge hidden. So kitchen looking over the back patio and yard. Nice skylight there as well. All right, let's check out upstairs. Huge window on the landing here. So there's five bedrooms. Each of them have their own ensuite. This is the primary bedroom here. Marble flooring again. A toilet on my right. And then this is a rain shower, gold finishes. to our walk-through closet. And here is the primary suite view. Overlooking the backyard. This is a good vantage point where you can really tell the size difference. So obviously this is the neighbor's lock here. You can tell this one goes all the way up and wraps all the way around. So you got a big L-shaped lot but 0.21 of an acre, which is super rare. This, this neighbor is a little larger. This is the second bedroom on the second floor four piece bath as well. This one is west facing overlooking the road. Built-ins here. Check out the third floor. I what I really like about these railings too, they put in this light, it goes right underneath them on the wall, which is a nice touch. So two bedrooms up here, 
Lots of light on this landing as well, which is nice. Two big windows. Illuminating up here. This is a little, this is a little den space between the two bedrooms. This is my favorite bedroom. It uses the peak of the roof, it's cathedral ceilings. Glass shower. bedroom here. This is the smallest bathroom, but they put in a really deep shower. So it's only like two and a half feet wide, but fit a full shower in there. They've used the space very well. Here is the last bedroom. So skylight again, bringing in lots of light. Little desk area in the corner. And some more built-ins up here. They've also put in a nice sliding door to save space here. It's really good use of space. Okay, let's go check out the basement. So we do have a finished basement here. Got a laundry room on the right side. Where the light is, there it is. There's a walk out. Here's the final bedroom as well. Ensuite bath. We were managed to fit a, a window in here, which is good as well. Beautiful, thank you for watching. If you enjoy the tours, please leave a like and subscribe. I do tours every single week and I will be uploading every Monday and Thursday. Subscribe if you'd like to stay tuned. Thanks, guys.